friends today we will take a poem wind written by subramanya bharti this poem is being written by subramanya bharti he wrote this poem in tamil language and afterwards it was being translated to english by a famous poet named ak ramanujan wind is a natural phenomena basically in this poem the poet talks to the wind and he has mentioned different roles of a wind in the opening line he has referred wind as a naughty child then as a young youth then as a powerful god and then finally as a friend the power of wind has been described here wind is a symbol of adversities hardships challenges and problems that we face in our life adversities means difficulties of life the poet says that those who are weak they break down easily but those who are strong they become more stronger when they face the difficulties of life the poet gives an important message that we should be mentally tough and physically strong to face hardships of life and he gives a suggestion that if we remain strong we can overcome any obstacles that comes before us the weak people break down just like a weak building let us begin reading the of the poem wind come softly don't break the shutters of the windows don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf there look what you did you threw them all down you tore the pages of the books you brought rain again you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives and crumbling hearts the wind god winnows and crushes them all this is the first stanza of the poem in the opening line the poet is talking to the wind he is referring wind as a naughty child he says wind come softly come softly is referring to a naughty child the poet asks the wind to come very softly the wind should not be very hard it should be soft but in the stanza the pa- uh, the wind has shown its power of destruction the wind which is destructive which is powerful it breaks the shutters of the windows and scatters the papers around scatters means to throw here and there even when it becomes too powerful it even throws down the books which are kept on the shelf then he says to wind that look how you have shown your power you have done a lot of destruction and what is the destruction that the wind has done the poet says to wind that you have tore the pages of the books and you were so strong that you have brought rain too and he says to wind that you are very clever moreover the wind is making fun of 
weaklings or weak people by destroying them poking fun means making fun of and weaklings means weak people the stanza means that weak people are always exploited you must have seen that whenever there is a strong wind or any storm or any tsunami all the things that are weak and small they only get destroyed first as small plants bushes insects etc so the poet talks to the wind and says not to be very strong and destructive frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives and crumbling hearts crumbling means falling down or to cause something to break rafters here means uh, pillars or uh, beams on uh, which the houses are being made respite we will do tomorrow